Hello and what is going on you guys? Hyperion Blue GT here. Japanese Drive is now set to be on the rerun in the live summon event in the Crew 2. One of the seven Japanese themed summon to be featured from two years ago from February 26 to March 4, 2020 and now during the date schedule for two years later until now August 10 to 17 after we succeed from Phase 3 of Dominion series before moving on in Phase 4 by next week. But as you may also to be familiar with 6 events and 3 skills will be joined in as well including the Honda S2000 Red Panther Edition to be featured for the second time ever since from 2 years ago. But looks like it's gonna get much excellent for every players who also own this car to be featured will be go again for the second time. Better make sure to have the Nitro Chemist will have to go well improve and race on with some most fine disciplines to be well related to have Japanese vehicles including a mixed event by using any Nissan touring car will be eligible to participate. But as a meantime because street racing, drift, drag race, motocross and touring car discipline will have to get everything ready up and go before the three skills will have to go with two water based vehicle and a speed trap will have to go to be at Barstow for the second time. But as always you guys, if you're new to my YouTube channel, go and click the subscribe button then leave a like and comment at the session down below. Check out the links on the description if you want to see more and don't forget to click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos in the later future. Now it is time to get ready to start the live summit event. Let's begin. It turns out that having Wednesday is going to be an early start for myself, but in the meantime, whenever happens to have one follow up catch up is going to be doing one event is going to be climb up onto 100,000 points, but thank goodness because racing at the Great Lakes Motorsport Park near at the Great Salt Lake is very fun to enjoy, but mostly for any drift discipline, whoever try out on one of the six track is going to be so very awesome to enjoy. But now, the main outcome to be on the rank platinum is 3,649 place in Phase 3 Dominion Series. 150 followers, 52,500 spare park, fame magnet boosted for the street race discipline, and an orange smoky nitro to be on the rare. But goodness, perfect time for myself and more followers to be proceed on to week number 6 for doing a 4 part challenge. But now, this is going to be having 4 different rewards as you may ever recognize with as usual from 2 years ago. 200,000 followers, blinking red underglow common, rally inner purple tire rare, and the Honda S2000 Red Panther edition from bronze, silver, gold, and to platinum. But it looks like it's going to get much good to be having another rerun after phase 4 until Dominion Kings is going to be set to be scheduled coming soon in September. But there's the Polar Rush, the very first ever live summit event as you may ever remember from a long time ago since the launch of the Crew 2. Sounds very good? Alright. But there might be some one other solution about one of the six events. Somehow, the Suzuki RM-C450 might be putting up to be labeled to be as a mixed event. But I know this is going to be quite very concerned and confusing that it turns out to be as a bug event. I have to find out and see after having three skills will be checked and complete. So first up, Solemn will have to go for the pro racing category will have to get everything prepared. Take place to be at San Francisco. But in the meantime, just gonna have to see how set sail to be on the waters is gonna be a perfect place to be well remembered from the most previous theme summon. But it's gonna be much fun and well to be enjoyed to be set sail to be on the water once again as last time. Gonna have to go double check. Nitro Chemist is already in on the Froucher 1414 Demon. Just give me one moment. Okay, looks like DCP M31. Okay, there's my 
score breaker, so gonna have to switch it up onto the offshore Mark 1. Gonna have to choose this first ever power boat and get ready. Pick it up and go solemn around the gates like last time. Okay, looks like there's Sky Sky Guy 1984 is here. I had to make sure to get closer. Stay on track and whoa, looks like a plane just flying in. Looks like talk about having a spectator. Keep it careful. Stay on the maintain pace. But one power boat at a time might be very patiently to be on the lineup. Talk about having a formation, but I had to get there on time in about one second. Well, talk about having patience, but 30,618 points is now perfectly to go up onto 100,000 points, but it was alright. Being patient is all about during the part of the skill when two power boats are in the way. So, guess that makes one skill check, two to go. Now for skill number two, buoy smashing will be take place to be at Salt Lake. Talk about having the most finest perfect lake in America for the Great Salt Lake, but I mean, there are some other news and articles about the lake was being drained out by having a drought, but I know it's all because of the climate change. Mostly people in Salt Lake are very worried about this lake is going to be used to become very large, but now it becomes very shrinked up to see how the dry temperature is going to be very trouble timing to see it. But I know people really love the Great Salt Lake that it used to be by a few years ago, but now it becomes a dry drought to see how it turns out to have that ground to be covered up on it. It's sad. It's so very sad to see the Great Salt Lake was being dry by the heat temperature. I know I was about to be planned to go and take a good look for myself, but I mean it takes a lot of money to go for several places for summer vacation. So let's keep going and that makes the score point to be at 35,860 points. But this lake was used to become very beautiful by the time comes. But now it becomes a dry ghost town to see this most beautiful lake. But I know. It used to become beautiful and much more impressive to have this fine lake. But until then, many people of Salt Lake really want to see the Great Salt Lake to go back to normal where it's supposed to be. But that's how that it also because of the heat temperature due to the climate change. But I mean, yep, we just really want to see how the place in the world just gonna have to go back to normal where it's supposed to be by having a natural balance. But anyway, let's move on and take on for skill number three. Bar stroll for a speed trap. Let's go cruise around and choose a perfect starting position. Curve straightaway might be quite very tricky, so I have to go with the opposite direction. Gonna take the scenic route. Cruise around. Okay, gonna have to get back on track and do the same thing again. There's the perfect spot. Gonna have to make that quick U-turn and switch up onto my dragster. Go with my Corvette C7 Stingray. We'll have to be at the ready. But on second dot, let's try and use the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Drag Race Edition with my UTRS InsporTech livery to be on the street version. But in the meantime, because that might be 
fully well compatible to have my LM3 version is going to be quite very well used to be on a drag race discipline. Let's give it a try and go pack up for the burn. Okay, that should be good enough. Wait for the green and push up onto the gas. Here I go. Speed trap is cleared complete. 348.9 miles per hour. Let's see the activity performance. Good enough to have 112,842 points. Now, let's go and investigate for event number one to be on the motocross discipline. Using the Suzuki RM-C450 at Santa Monica. But I thought this is going to be having a drag race for doing a perfect moment, but one of the two mixed events to be featured was not part of the rerun. But in the beginning as original to be well eligible to be using with the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Drag Race Edition. But I know you guys really think about this event is going to be having a bug issue. But I mean, it's happening right now, so let's get on board with the Suzuki RM-C450 to figure out how faster can it compare to the drag race vehicle. But it might be slowing down, and doing the main advantage is going to be quite very impossible to beat the required time. Exactly for only 10 seconds to be used as original, but in the rerun for this event is going to be very difficult by exactly around 25 seconds. So the gauge is going to be look different. Going to have to go and stay in the green zone. Perfect burn and 3 seconds. Here I go. Mostly it might be quite impossible by switching up onto the 5th gear when using a motocross by having a manual mode transmission. I mean, speeding up in the motocross bike in the drag race event is going to be quite very challenging and also to be ridiculous. But we prefer a recommend dragster vehicle is going to be perfect by the recommend. But someone else might putting up a bug issue for this event as a rerun. So here's my first run you guys. 29.704 seconds. Gear shift is bad. Top speed on motorbike. 113 miles per hour. But exactly indeed that it does not exactly indeed that does not count because one best dragster is gonna be very much higher to be on the main rankings. But mostly I also check to be on the main leaderboard on this event that doesn't show up. So let's go for run number two. Yep. This always happens because of a bad start. I have to finish this event until the investigation is complete. But I know how embarrassing is going to be very slower to be on the quarter mile run. So there's a 30 second time. Run number two clear. Here comes run number three. It's going to be a third time defeat. So let's go and gonna have to pass that event until it's about to be over soon. But mostly to have does not yet to be counted to be as a main record time to achieve by over a hundred thousand points. So let's go for run number three and stay on the green zone. So see how the main ghost car is going to be going quick up and faster to be on a quarter mile distance in about 10 seconds. Mostly motocross bike is going to be very well impossible by having a run time in 30 seconds through 25 seconds as well. So now here comes the dirt run and the main outcome. 
25.697 seconds. Gearship is fast. All that you can do is practice, come back, and try again. Yep, this is how what happens because it doesn't show the activity performance when you're not achieved by having a perfect objective time. Bummer. Somebody else has to fix this event so we could probably have to go again for the second time. Now let's check the details that there might be some players are also to be yet to be ranked. Nothing. Nothing else to be on worldwide. No player rank. Yep, that's how what happens because bug events is not part of our own best interest. So let's go and take on for a temporary event for having a real number one event. So let's go and take on in the San Francisco commute in the Red Panther edition of the Honda S2000. Clearly for the moment because since you guys have already got the same car to be put up with the Nitro Chemist. Just only for myself is going to be having a very first ever to try this vehicle out by having a brand new edition. Outfitted with a white and red livery is going to be proud Japanese tradition. Also to have the alternate customization is going to be quite turns out to become more brilliant. By the original, the per level starts out to be at 158 that contains a top speed of 155 miles per hour and 240 horsepower. Just like the original edition of the Honda S2000 Ultimate Edition to be as a 2009 model, so I'm about to test this baby out. So let's go and race in San Francisco to be on the commute and go faster to have this Japanese JDM car will go for the fully edged tuning Three, work. Two, so let's one. go and take the real challenge as I proceed. You're so gonna win this one! I cannot believe this livery design is gonna be so proud Japanese tradition. But mostly this final design layout is gonna be quite very cool to be awesome to be in the night race during the street race event to be part in the Motor Nation. But by the look of the interior view on the inside, so gonna have to take a good look and go for the racing action. Just like the original, but the exterior is also to have a different decorative design to see this might be quite turns out to become more street racing material. We'll have to go for showing up with some other players with their new look. Now let's keep up the pace and get up higher to go for the first event. Hit the nitro. Switch back onto the third person camera view. But whenever you see a nitro on the hood, because this might be quite very cool and awesome. Just like the Nissan 370C Pro Drip as part of Dominion Forsberg update. But now it's gonna get much awesome to be well put up to have the nitro exhaust to be placed on the hood. Let's keep going and stay on track to be in the lead and go focus on the goal. I know how your viewers are still upset about the Santa Monica Drag Race event to be on the motocross discipline, but it doesn't count. But clearly, it doesn't show on the rankings because of the objective time is going to be very impossible. But it'll have to fix it soon because this event for only one week is very much important to be part in the rerun. Now let's go for lap number two. Keep driving and going well clean on that road. The handling might be very cool to have this wing spoiler in it. Speed it up. Enter the afternoon street. Turn left. 
Checkpoint clear and take the next turn at the right going for the power slide drift Already finishing up on the motor stars content tier, but it's all good to go for now Now it's 79% in the progression I Hope I can probably keep going and go up by having a chance to beach up on to 100,000 points Take the jump going downhill Mostly for experts, just barely use the Nitro Chemist that it's going to get more extreme to see it. But only for myself to be trying out for the first time to be driving with a Red Panther Edition is Japanese tuner material. But until at the end, I have to keep this and fully well received to be at the Platinum Ring is going to be currently to be at the jump start. So made it on time, 4 minutes 5.449 seconds to receive 45,000 bucks to be earned. Almost close enough to be at 100,000 points, but I'll take that with 90,027 points. Awesome event complete, 1 down, 4 more to go, and also to be well saved up for only 1 event to be needed. So next up, Motocross Discipline will have to do the real deal after having a drag race to be as a bug event. So we're heading up to the White Mountains for the KTM 450 EXC. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on one second. I thought we're about to be using for the KTM 450 EXC because it's not yet to be part as a Japanese Steam Summon. But it looks like we're about to get back on board and use the Suzuki RM-C450 will be at the ready. It also makes sense to have this correction according to the original from the Wiki of Phantom. Alright, so it looks like it also makes sense by having a match event. So let's go right at it and take on for having a most fine motocross track. We'll beat the hill by the uphill and downhill. Listen to the engine. So let's push it let's and go higher to take that jump. I really have no idea what's going on here for this Steam Summit, folks. Clearly, Ubisoft might be having some issues about the latest rerun in Japanese Drive. But it will make sure to see how the problem we might have to get back on track before the maintenance will be called in. Just for temporarily for only 2 or 3 hours, but prefer to be having 2 hours of maintenance work we'll have to get it all solved up and make it well complete. But in the meantime, because it'll be putting up with part 1 in the live summon to be putting up on this part of the video. But it'll make sure that part 2 will be scheduled by coming soon as a conclusion. Now let's keep going and take lap number two. Gonna keep it careful and go going well proceed. Ah, it's gonna get much harder to take some jumps. I don't know where am I going. Okay, now, uh, okay, guess that might be get hit by a checkpoint gate, that might be having some slight troubling issues for my skill, gonna need to step up and keep going well driving, final stretch I go, here's my current lap time performance, 2 minutes 2.443 seconds to receive a legendary bundle earned.
I'll have to hold on to it because just to be planned for myself in part 2 of the live summon during Japanese drive will go for a conclusion. But I mean, one drag race event what we need to do to have this motocross discipline to be titled to be as an icon. But I mean, come on. We just need drag race for participate in the same event but not motocross is not okay to see it. Now for event number two clear, moving on to take on in street race event to be at the Big Ben. Kawasaki C1000 ABS is now ready to go and faster to be on the motorcycle will take action to be on the street. But still goes for the green color to have this most fine original variation since I have finally got this motorcycle will have to go for a proper grinding position. So let's take that motorcycle out and go for the grid star from behind in about 3 seconds we'll have to kick up and go for the quick loading time we'll have to be well patient up and pause at the moment Three, two, sounds like a bright and day one, and perfect time for the motorcycle we'll go for the horizon go 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 here I go and Four wheels will have to stay well behind until the two wheeler goes far right up ahead. Kick up the nitro and wait for the refill will have to be on standby. The strategy as it goes when using the Kawasaki C1000 ABS it's all about doing a clean turn what kneeling is all about. Checkpoint clear and stay focused on the route. Let's turn right and go forward. Looks like one racer is going far behind along with the others. Okay, keep going, so there goes a the contact. Going up on the boost, checkpoint to be cleared. Going sideways by doing some consecutive hairpins at the turn. Okay, doing proper kneeling is all about clean racing when riding on the motorbike. Let's go and take on the interior view for the action. Okay, checkpoint clear. Almost to be at 80% in the progression. Kick the nitro up. Now going forward onto the next checkpoint to be on the next route. All right, keep going, keep going. Almost there to be at the finish line, folks. Gonna have to stay on track and go for the podium finish. Now for a stoppy and do that position right here. Alright, looks like doing good job and solid flying average to be on the first attempt. But in the meantime, because doing a rev up until the street racers will be finishing up in first place by the nick of time. Three events down, two to go. Now, let's go to Las Vegas to have another event to be on Drift Discipline. We're heading up to be at West Commercial Bushimura event is going to be doing the perfect spotlight to have the best formula drift we'll have to go for the hardest challenge ever yet. So let's go with the Forsberg Racing Nissan 370C Pro Drift we'll have to step up 
and take the spotlight to be at the go. Clearly for any Pro Drift cars, it's going to be doing much excellent when participate to be part of Dominion Forsberg event. So let's try and take a test and see how feel for a Pro Drift we might have to go for the action. But luckily, putting up with some custom vanity is going to be quite attached with some Pro Drift camera to be on top of the 370C Pro Drift. Sounds like very good, excellent Forsberg racing to be fully equipped with some vanities. So let's try this out and go with a style to be well passioned to be at Las Vegas. Three, two, so let's get it on one. and go like a proud drifter to stay much longer to be endurance. So let's keep it careful, slide around and do a good perfect clean drift. There goes the contact by the barrier. Gonna have to keep trying and go hard. Drifting and nitro. Use that kind of a skill of element so you'll be able to make it on time. Solid fine drifting work. Going up and keep building with a score breaker. Ah, okay, there goes a hit by the barrier. It takes matters of practice when using a pro drift to be on original drift event. One minute left. Gonna have to hurry up. Keep trying until the first attempt is over. Now I'm gonna have to go for attempt number two. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's hard to handle, so let's try this again and take on for doing a second attempt. Man, it's going Three, overpowered, and mostly two, for some obstacles, it's going to be well handled one. to be dealing with some faces. So let's keep up and keep put up the chain drip. We'll have to go exact high combination. So let's get fired up and do some epic drip skills. We'll do sideways. That's the, that's the ticket. I knew how the skill is going to be going well passive with low speeds and high speed by the turns. Tech, that just barely messed up my chain skill. Slow down and take that next turn at the right. Boost the nitro. Almost lost my competent skill. But it'll take that. 30 seconds left. Keep trying. Building up with some combo drip is going to be test out with a pro drip car. We'll have to do a different skills by the obstacles. Two hundred thousand points added with nine thousand three sixty four points. There you go. Looks like. That wasn't so hard and very difficult to be driving on the Pro Trip car. So let's see the activity performance. 
that should do just perfectly fine viewers 150,908 points is doing a fine pro drifting to be at Las Vegas to be in West Commercial Bushimura event. It also comes down by having one more event to go to be categorized to be as a mixed event. Nissan Touring Car versus one street race event will get set and get everything ready to be at Canyon by night. But there will be some two choices especially three Nissan cars in the touring car discipline is going to be well challenging up and determined. So we have the Nissan 370C Type C34 R Nismo GT3 but there's also to have one last car is going to be the R34 Nissan Skyline with a GT500 spec version to be categorized to be in the same discipline. So choices to be made. Should I have to go with a 370C or the GT3 Nissan GTR Nismo? But it also has the same perk level to be at 320 with a different top speed and horsepower. But anyway, let's go with the GTR Nismo GT3 and see how it feels and take on nighttime at Canyon. So I hope I could probably have to go and speed things up a bit because taking place to be at the evening is all about doing a matter of racing and doing a perfect moment to have one Nissan touring car to go faster and higher to be in the main chance to get up on 100,000 points. So let's go and take the road to be on the road trip to be at the canyon. Take the highway by follow the checkpoint and going clean to be well capable to have one GT3 to take the lead. But there is also to have one Nissan GTR that's not eligible to participate in the mixed event, which is the Forsberg Racing in the same car to be labeled as a touring car discipline. But not to mention because Forsberg Racing to be titled as an American manufacturer brand to be part of the team. But mostly, this one is going to be perfectly to have this most eligibility to be entered for this event in Japanese Drive. But in the meantime, later on before moving on in Phase 4 of the Minion Series, we'll have to get ready to go and go for another challenge. Just like Phase 1, Phase 2, and Phase 3 from every two weeks ago, but now it's gonna have to get everything to be test up and continue on before after Japanese Drive is gonna be complete. Keep driving and go forward. Checkpoint clear. Now gonna have to take that turn by the corner. Almost there. Halfway there on 50% progression. Everything is going well. Almost to be at 70% in the progression before going down on the afternoon highway. Keep trying and go for the pace. We're going back on the road after taking the downhill highway. Going up, take the left turn by the next corner. Almost there you guys. In about 5% left remaining in the progression until the finish line is just right up ahead. 
Made it on time, 400,000 followers earned, and perfectly to be on the main activity performance to be on the outcome. Very good job, 100,000 points to be added with 19,811 points. Now that's what I call a touring car Nissan competition for only one street race event. Very good job and doing a jump start to have this most perfect new day for all of us. But in the meantime because the issue will have to be well resolved in about a few more days until this event is over. But in the meantime, part 2 will be coming up later on for having a next video as a conclusion. But I know this is going to be very difficult to be entered for only one event that does not count to be labeled to have a motocross discipline to enter a drag race event. But there will be some more events to have some follow up catch up later on to have three events will be needed including one of them who does not receive a point as well. So now, looks like gonna have to keep continue on for part 2 in Japanese Drive. Let's have a good look in Dominion Series Phase 4 in the next live summit event to be scheduled on August 17th through the 24 by having 6 new events along with 2 of them is also gonna be locating in the west coast by having a brand new track layout. Touring car and rally cross discipline. Perfect time and very excellent to have two of them to be part of Dominion Forsberg number 8 and 9. So now, gonna have to get ready to wrap this up, so there will be some more events after Phase 4. So we're going in to take the trip down memory lane to be at the very first live summon, Polar Rush, August 24th to 31st, until moving on in Wolfguard in August 31st through September 7th. And that's not all because Dominion Kings will be scheduled by coming soon until the issue on Santa Monica Drag Race will be resolved in about a few hours. Let's be patient and wait for Ivory Tower to give us the green light to get back and participate again in Japanese Drive. So we have 6 days left before the event is over. Thank you for watching on my video in the crew too folks. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and click the bell for notification on upcoming content videos if you'd like to see. And don't forget to follow me on any social media platforms like Deepinet Art, Instagram, GT Planet, Twitter, and more to see for my own image artwork like UDRS Libri, Total Drama Fan Art with Card Libraries, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be seeing you guys next time on the live summit event in the crew 2 and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.